Greetings fellow Gorehounds and welcome back to yet another Blood Splattered Unboxing. So this week we got something really special because the good people over at the Creepy Crate, which I shall link in the description below, they decided to send me one of their subscription boxes so that I can open it up on my show and you can all decide for yourselves if you like what's inside. With the idea being if you like what's inside, you might subscribe for yourselves. And now that we got the bullshit shilling part out of the way, let us open up this Creepy Crate and see what's inside. And this one's pretty simple, just, you know, cut open the edges and uh, then we shall open it up. That is a... Uh... That is the way of things at this moment. Here we go. All right. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, this looks like... What are you? You are... Oh. This is a bone pen. This is actually pretty fucking cool. Um, I'm always losing pens all the time, and it would be pretty fucking hard to lose a pen that looks this awesome. So, uh, hey. I like it, and it, it definitely writes, so, uh, that's good. Ooh, what's this? It's some sort of, like, creepy old photograph that's slightly blurred out. I wonder, uh, I wonder what this is about. Let's, uh, see, it's... Oh, okay! They're, like, little, like, cards that you send people, like, little novelty gift cards. Okay, that that's pretty cool. Alrighty, then, and they're all, like, creepy and shit. So we got... This initial one of, like, the old people and the creepy lady in the background and shit. We got, um, this one, which just seems like it's two photos that are slightly blurred over one another. Not really that creepy, to be honest. Yeah, I, th I guess these are just, like, old fucking photographs. I don't know what else to say. Um, they're kind of creepy in that they're old? Mm, I don't know. We gotta love the mustache in this one. This guy has one hell of a fucking mustache. And, uh, what we got here is some... Um, Ooh, Lady Killer Signature Series Button Collection. Oh, okay. It's a bunch of serial killer buttons. So you have, like, the Countess Bathory, and uh, we got uh, Kate Webster on here. So that's, that's pretty damn cool. And then here we got Coffee Shop of Horrors Nevermore. Oh, all of our terrifying good coffee is roasted to fresh order from the finest beans available worldwide. Oh, it is some sort of horror-themed coffee from a horror-themed coffee shop. It seems it's the Nevermore Edgar Allan Poe blend, so, uh, hmm. I'm not much of a coffee drinker, but my roommate Count Jacula is, so uh, maybe I'll get him to brew this up and uh, we'll try it. And speaking of this coffee, it seems like this next item is related to it in that it is a awesome clown coffee mug. Now this isn't the greatest item ever, it's a plastic cup with a very cheap plastic lid, so I don't think this is going to last very long, but I do like that they had like matching items. Though you kind of feel like this should have been Edgar Allan Poe related too in order to fully match, but eh, whatever. Oh, yeah, okay, now this is probably my favorite item here. All my friends are creepy t-shirt. And, uh, yeah, I am definitely going to put this on in a bit because I fucking love shirts like this. And it's true. All my friends, or at least all my good friends and my best friends, are fucking creepy. And I love them for it. So, yeah, um, that was my first ever creepy crate. And, uh, let's see what we got here. We have the awesome bone pen. We have the pretty cool serial killer buttons. We have the kind of cool but kind of weird old postcards that I could take or leave. Um, we have the coffee, which is pretty cool. I have no idea if it tastes any good, but I do like that it's in here. And we kind of have the, um, I guess I'm kind of like 50-50 on the coffee mug. I wish it was a higher quality coffee mug, and I wish it had something more related to the coffee, personally. And of course, finally, we have the awesome All My Friends Are Creepy shirt, which is probably the best item in all of this crate. And you know what? Before we finish this video, let me put this on and see how it fits. All right, and uh, yeah, it seems like it fits pretty damn well, and uh, it's a decent quality fabric. It's not awful, and uh, hopefully it won't fade too much in the wash, but uh, yeah, I'd say the shirt is definitely the best part. Anyway, my fellow Gorehounds, I would give this crate a C. It is not the best box I've ever seen, and I'm pretty sure even Creepy Crate themselves have put out better material. 
But like I said earlier, if there's anything in this box that you liked and you would like to get for yourself, then be sure to subscribe to Creepy Crate below. And you know what? When you do, let them know that the horror guru sent you. And as per usual, my fellow gorehounds, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so that you're notified of my videos immediately upon their upload. And as I always say, peace out, my fellow gorehounds, and I'll catch y'all later. Brought to you in part by a generous donation by the Center for Unease Control.